Okay, we're gonna try this video with this lighting. We're trying to- we're gonna make it work one day, but if I sound weird, it's because I'm sick right now. It's not a fun time. I feel like I get sick like every three months. I don't know why my immune system sucks. You would think getting sick all this time would like build it up, but really it doesn't. But that's not what we're gonna focus on right now. You know what we're gonna focus on? The first episode of season two B of Shadowhunters. It came on today and oh my God, it was so good. I am shooketh. I loved it so much. Like, I don't feel like that this is like the best show ever, but I love the show. Like Power Rangers. It wasn't like the best movie, but did I love it? Yes, and that's what matters. I'm not going to go as in-depth in this episode as I do with my other episodes because I wasn't planning to make a video on this until like halfway through the episode where I was like, I have so many thoughts, I need to share this. So, we're gonna try to start from the beginning. A lot of things are gonna be out of order. Regardless if I say it out of order, if you've seen the episode, you'll get what I'm talking about. But from the beginning, I love when people are having like a fight scene and then they'll have like a serious conversation within the fight scene like they'll like fight someone and then pin them down and then say something and then the person will flip them and then they'll say something and it's just it's my favorite thing ever and they did that in today's episode to start it off and i was just it was amazing it was amazing especially when it was with my boys jace and alec i'm so happy i haven't like i completely forgot how much i miss them like i just i love them so much i love jace and i love alec so much and just to see them training together and to see them have this conversation and to see that alec is the only person that knows like the truth about jace and his feelings about Clary because they trust each other because they're brothers because they're just uh it's such they're just such good brothers the fight choreography was pretty good but they keep doing this thing in the show where they try to make it really dark to make it like a darker mood but it really just makes everything hard to see and I don't like that because it kind of just makes it seem like they want to hide the fight choreography but I feel like the fight choreography is fine so they really should just up the lighting so that we can see them fighting and Jace Oh my god, I love Jace so much. Jace is such a good guy. He just wants Clary to be happy, and he realizes that she is happy with Simon, and he's okay with that as long as she's happy. So he's not trying to ruin anything by telling her this information, and I'm like, he's such a good guy. Guy. I love TV Jace way more than I love Book Jace. Book Jace I hated because he was annoying. Like, really annoying and just like a not cool dude. TV Jace is the best. He's such a nice guy. He's trying to do the best for all of his family. Like, I just, I see it. He's so good. And he's a good fighter on top of it. Like, he took all the good traits out of Jace and added more good traits and took away all of his bad traits. I'm just like, Jace is such a good guy. I love Jay so much. But you know what I don't love? Climbing. Climbing still disgusts me. Just because it's such a pointless ship. Because I've read the books. I've read all the books. So I know that Climbing is not Endgame. So I'm just like, this is a stupid relationship. Because they're just so obviously meant to be friends and not together. They're just so, ugh. But I do love Jace and Simon. Their friendship is what I live for. Like, Simon, oh my god, he's such a sweet guy. When he told Jace that he wouldn't tell anybody that his blood was the reason that he is now a daylighter and that he has his back, that was so sweet. And then he went to hug him and Jace was just like, no. That was, that was great. I just, it was so them. It was just so them. Their friendship is just so good. And Magnus and Alex's relationship is what I'm living for. After they found out about like the greater demon attack, Alec went to like Magnus to see if he could help, which kind of annoys me that we really only see Magnus when he's like here to help Alec because I'm just like, can we just not? Can you stop using your boyfriend please? He exists outside of his relationship with Alec and helping the Institute. Like, can we just get some of his normal storyline? Because I just, I love Magnus so much. And he deserves more screen time, honestly. But anyways, when Alec goes to visit Magnus, he gives him such like a casual like kiss. And I'm just like, this is what I live for. Just a nice casual domestic couple. This is everything that I've wanted for them. I just, I want them to be happy so much. I need more scenes like that because I'm going to be real honest. I did not like the last episode when Alec told Magnus that he loved him because not because I don't believe that they're in love because I strongly do believe that they're in love but I don't feel like we've had enough scenes developing the relationship to warrant a scene where he, they say I love you to each other like I don't feel like 
with what we've seen they're at that point yet. I believe in my heart that they are in love because I've read the books and I know that they are meant to be together and that they do love each other. But I just don't feel like with the very minimal scenes that we were given that they are at the point to say that to each other. I know that it was like this big life or death situation where Alec was like, oh my god, Magnus is dead. But like, it just, it wasn't necessary. And I don't feel like we were at that point yet. I feel like they're really rushing this relationship. So to see moments like that where they're just like really casual, domestic couple and you could just see how their relationship is like a normal part of their lives i feel like that really helps set in the fact that they are meant to be together you know also bringing it back to last episode that whole scene was dumb when they killed all the down worlders but they didn't kill anybody that we actually cared about because i was like then nobody cares like you didn't kill magnus you didn't kill Raphael, you didn't kill simon you didn't kill luke then what that who cares who cares about all these randos no one cares i think they killed like luke's partner who was in the pact that no one really remembers because he had maybe like three lines and we were supposed to be sad about that but it really wasn't that big a deal because no one cares about him like they tried to make it this big deal they're like oh my god valentine killed all these down rulers but he didn't kill any down ruler that we knew so we had no attachment to this event so it it was dumb it was dumb anyways back to the actual episode izzy let's talk about izzy for a second oh my god izzy girl you need to stop I'm so done with this yin fed addiction. I get that we can't just like erase it in one episode, but honestly, I'm so done with her and this dumbass yin fed addiction. Like, this girl needs to stop. She was literally like talking to Alex. He was taking care of her like a good brother because he's a good person. And then she was like, you can go take care of the greater demon. I will be fine. And I was like, what courage this girl has. She's so nice. She's so strong. I love Izzy. And then what does she do? She goes back to Raphael and tries to get more vampire venom. I'm like, girl, stop. She won't stop. Why won't she stop? Like, I get it. She's addicted in that she really can't have control over her, like, wants. She really, really wants this yin type. I'm like, girl, do you really? Do you really want to stop? Because I don't think that you do. This girl went back to Raphael. And I won't touch on Raphael in a moment because Raphael does not deserve this. Raphael is a good, pure snowflake who does not deserve this kind of treatment. But anyways, Izzy needs to stop trying to go to him. Stop trying to attack him with her sword. And stop trying to guilt him into giving her more vampire venom because Raphael's just trying to do the best for Izzy because he actually cares about her but Izzy's just like no I want your venom and then she's like oh okay good gonna go to any random alleyway where vampires are just try to get venom that way and get myself attacked by a greater demon and then get myself saved by Sebastian oh we're gonna talk about Sebastian for a second oh my god okay I've read the books as I've said before I've read all the books so I know the significance that Sebastian has to the story I won't spoil it because there may be some people who haven't read the books and may be watching this for some reason, but I'm pretty sure you can get from, like, the end of the episode when he was burning his hand over the stove, which was wild, that he's, like, not the best person. But I understand what significance he has to the story, and I know that I shouldn't like him, but god damn it, he is so hot and so charming and it's fucking me up, man, because I'm like, Damn it! He is so British and charming and nice, and he and they try to humanize him with a sad backstory. And then I'm like, I can't like him. He is not a good person. He's evil. I can't like him when he's evil. But they're trying to make me like him so that when they're like, "Ooh, he's evil," I'll be like, "Sad." But I can't like him. I can't like him. But he's just so British and charming. But I can't like him, and it's very conflicting for me because I know. That if I like him, that when they make him evil, it's going to be very disappointing for me. Because I'm going to be like, damn it, he was such a nice guy. But I already know he's not a nice guy. But they're making him such a nice guy. Like with that sad backstory about how he was addicted to Yinfen. And how he didn't like his mom. And how he had to leave London. And he's so British and sweet and charming to Izzy. And he can cook. And just, ugh, he's so British. And attractive and charming. And he's evil. And I'm like, why? Why do you do this to me? I need to hate Sebastian, but it's really hard to hate him when he's this good of a guy at the very moment. Except for at that last moment when he was literally just lighting his hand on fire. That was weird. But anyways, off of Sebastian, let's bring it back to Raphael. Raphael, oh my god, I love him so much. He has always been my baby. I have always wanted him to be okay 
because he's always tried to do the right thing, and he always gets shit for it. Like, he took Simon under his wing. And what does Simon do? Stab him in the back. What does he try to do? Create a nice, loving relationship with Izzy? What does she do? Stab him in the back. Like, Raphael does not deserve this. And then afterwards, after Izzy tries to kill him, trying to get his vampire venom, what does he do? He goes to Magnus' apartment. To do what? To tell Alec about the trouble that his sister's in. And you know what Alec does? He takes the information that Raphael has to give him about saving his sister. He doesn't say thank you. He just leaves. And I'm like, why are you this mean to Raphael? Raphael is a good person. He is trying his best. He is doing such good things and no one appreciates him and it's wrong and then Raphael goes to talk to Simon because he knows that he's a daylighter and all he wants to do is help protect Simon and try to figure out what's causing this and try to be a good mentor and ally to Simon in these troubling times like what Maya said don't start flaunting your daylighter this because if you do People will come after you. Raphael's trying to prevent that because Raphael's a good person. But what does Simon do? Lie to Raphael. Because Simon sucks. I love Simon, but when it comes to Raphael, Simon needs to treat him so much better than he is right now. Like, Raphael deserves better. Raphael housed and supported Simon when he needed help the most. And what does Simon do? He doesn't say thank you. He doesn't respect Raphael in any way, shape, or form. All he does is disrespect him and continue to be mean to him. And then call favors upon him. Like, when he needed his mom's memory to be wiped, when his mom found out that he was a vampire, who does he call? Raphael. Raphael. Who helps him? Raphael. Who does he still not respect and, like, help when Raphael needs him to help him? Raphael. It's just, it's wrong. Simon continually disrespects Raphael and does not help him by providing him with information that Raphael wants. To do what? To help Simon. Like, Simon is so mean to Raphael for no reason. Some people say that, like, oh, Raphael put a bounty on Simon's head. That's why Simon hates him. Like, he only put a bounty on his head because Simon betrayed the clan. Simon really needs to apologize to Raphael and, like, try to make it up to him somehow because he's not treating Raphael the way that Raphael deserves. And it's wrong. Raphael deserves better than this. Bringing it away from Raphael and how much I love him. We're gonna bring it back to somebody else that I really love. We're gonna bring it back to Jace because I don't like Clary. As I've said before, I really just don't like her. She's- I didn't like her in the books. I don't like her in the show. She's an annoying character for so many reasons. Oh my god. But when she was talking with Jace after they went to go talk to Valentine and she was like, you need to feel things. And I'm like, he does feel things. He just represses them because feeling things takes up so much time that we don't have when you gotta fight demons. And I thought that was annoying. But then Jace takes that message to heart. And what does he do? He goes to sulk on the roof. And who finds him? None other than his caring, supporting brother, Alec. And that that moment on the rooftop when Alec sees him and he's like, Jace, what's wrong? And then Jace turns around and he's crying and then Alec hugs him and they have this moment on the roof. It hurt me to my core. I legit almost cried. I started tearing up when I saw Jace crying because I love Jace so much. So seeing him cry for the first time and just feeling all these emotions and having Alec there to comfort him, oh my god, my heart could not take it. I was just dying. It was just such a good moment. It was amazing. Alec and Jace's relationship is 100% the best one in the show. Like, they are the best brothers. They will always support each other and be there for each other more than anyone else in the show ever will be. Like, they are such good brothers. Like, they're so nice and supportive of each other and it's everything. It is everything. But speaking of Clary and how much I hate her, the crew tries to summon Azazel because they think that Azazel stole Izzy, which she really didn't. She's just with Sebastian and being a little bitch. But Clary, who was supposed to come in clutch and was supposed to help them out with their sunshine rune and kill the demon when he was summoned and they couldn't take it anymore. And guess who falls apart on her part once again? It's Clary. Clary can't do anything right. It's annoying. Every time they need to rely on her to do something, she can't do anything. She's so useless. I don't like her whatsoever. I don't get what Jay sees in her, honestly. Jay's is such a nice, caring, 
strong guy who can really get anyone he wants because he is, like, the total package, but he's going after Clary? Like, what? Clary is such a scrub. She can't fight. She's annoying. She literally put her mom before everything else, and guess what happened? Her mom is dead. And the only thing that she might be halfway good at is fighting with a Seraph blade, which really makes no sense because she somehow knew how to use it perfectly the first time she picked it up, which really makes no sense. So she really has no good qualities besides the fake ones that the show gave her. She's just so annoying. I hate Clary. I hate her so much. Jace can do so much better than her. But Clary fails them all and doesn't kill Azazel. And guess what Azazel does? He breaks out of this little protection that Magnus could barely keep him in because Magnus is only trying his best. And you can only do so much against the Greater Demon. Then the Greater Demon uses his demon powers and he like knocks them all out with a really loud ringing. And guess what Clary does this whole time? She just whines. She's just like, I can't do anything. I'm Clary. I'm stupid. I'm like, shut up. Fucking hate her. Oh my god, I hate her. And in this time, the greater demon does something to Magnus. And then he does something to Valentine, which I will touch on a bit later. But Jace, my boy Jace, always coming to save the day because Jace is the best guy. He is somehow uses this rune on his arm and uses his powerful jumpy jump powers to go and stabby stab the greater demon. But before he can do that, the greater demon flies away and materializes into a bunch of butterflies or moths. It's very much like the magicians. It's really weird. But he goes and he's stabby, he tries to stabby stab, but he doesn't. And then the greater demon leaves and then everyone's okay. Or so we think. I really didn't get what the greater demon did to Magnus and Valentine until I saw the preview for the next episode. But oh my god, he took them and he pulled a freaky Friday on them. Oh my god, he switched their bodies. I am shook. I cannot handle what is going to happen in the next episode because just the scenes that I saw are going to have me really messed up because first of all it's going to be Magnus acting way different than what we've seen him before and Valentine acting like Magnus which I don't really want because it's going to have like Magnus lines said by Valentine it's going to be weird I don't know if I want this but all I know is that Alec and Magnus' relationship is really going to be put to the test here it's going to be like if I'm not who you think I am, can you still tell that it's me? Can you still tell that I love you? And it's just, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be rough, man. It's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Because you can tell from the preview that Jace does not believe what's going on. But I think that Alec does, because Alec knows. He knows his love. He knows Magnus. Like, I really, it's obviously going to get all sorted out at the end, because that's just what happens. But I just, I don't know. I'm going I'm just, I don't know how this is gonna play out. I don't know how long they're gonna be trapped like this. They can't do this to my baby. I love Magnus so much. And for him to have to, like, be Valentine, that's just... I feel like it'll be a good acting exercise for them to play, like, completely opposite characters. But, like, I don't want it. Because I love Magnus as he is. <laughs> you can see in the preview when they say that Valentine needs to be executed. You can just see, like, the pain in his eyes. And that's, like, it just screamed Magnus to me. Like, their acting skills are amazing, in which you can just see that that was so a um, Magnus thing to do in a not Magnus body, and that was just, you can see, like, the pain in his eyes, and it was so sad. Literally, I don't know what's gonna happen, but if something happens to my baby, I will be so mad. Like, I was, I, mm, no, no. But yeah, that, that, those were my thoughts on the episode, and on the characters in general. I've really messed this show, so I've needed, to, I've needed to talk about it for a while now, so these are just all my thoughts. I really, really love this show. I've missed it. I've very much missed it, and I'm very glad that it's back. And I'll probably make more videos on this in the future, but for now, I hope that the next episode isn't as wild as I think it was, because this episode was wild. I was legit screaming during this episode when I found out that they were switched. I was like, no, 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 I was not having it. Oh my god. But we let's hope that the next episode is not as crazy as I think it will be. Or maybe it will be, and then that will make it entertaining. But I don't really want it to be, because I just I just want things to be normal and I just want Magnus and Alec to be okay. <laughs>